because what I see uh, many other people uh, are doing are mocking a uh, class by class and function by function. This is not really efficient testing and this testing could go wrong hundreds of ways. But this here, what I'm showing is, is just perfect. So you're doing a big project uh, which requires a type ORM and connects to a complex database, but you have no idea how to test does the project work, how to, how to do automated tests. Here's what I've learned and how, how I think is the best way to do automated tests. You don't want to mock uh, type ORM because type ORM is a complex library, right? But you want to create, to tell type ORM to create another database and synchronize everything that you have to that other database. So that other database is going only, it is going only to be the test database. So let me show you how I did this. So this is a project of mine that I'm working on uh, for quite uh, some time, right? And here we can pull up the mock connections TS file. And this file, let me just close uh, all. And this file, what uh, I did here with the help of some uh, people uh, on Google, what uh, is very important is this uh, connection uh, setup. So you set up the connection to have to another database. So my, my, uh, my uh, initial uh, production database is db-net, um, uh, dash but here is uh, another like name. So you don't conflict it with the production database, but we put synchronized to be true and drop schema true. So it just deletes everything uh, if, if there's something uh, in the database, right? And it's a simple, just a clear, there's a clear uh, function, which just simply what it does, it uh, gets every entity and just deletes everything from any table. So if you want to reset the whole database, you use this clear function. So you may think, well, can I use this uh, anywhere like with Jest Mocha? Yes, yes, of course. Let me show you an example uh, which I did here. This is the first actual test for this uh, network. It's actually an enormously big network, but it actually this is the first test that I uh, wrote. So what this test does is I have here before every old like that that's not important. Let, let's just go to the uh, to the main idea of the test. The main idea here is because this guest module requires some kind of connection, a type ORM connection, we have we have to we have to create this connection, right? So we initialize this connection here. We create this connection, but of course we know that this is just a fake DB, right? Only used for testing. This, this allows us to uh, more flexibly test anything we want, right? And we don't have to mock any of the type ORM classes. What I see uh, many other people uh, are doing are mocking a class by class and function by function. This is not really efficient testing and this testing could go wrong hundreds of ways. But this here, what I'm showing is, is just perfect. Let me, let me just give you an example how you would do that. So a describe is a just function just that just describes what kind of test it is. Uh, we have set up module function, which just returns a new guest module with some connection. So what this guest module is doing actually, it just uh, enables us to create a guest session. And what this, you don't need to know uh, anything about uh, what this code actually does. But what you need to know is this guest section actually requires to get this guest repository and to save a new guest. So to create a new guest uh, in that repository, right? So if we don't have the, uh, the type or a mocked, uh, we can't save a guest. It does not work. We don't have anything to, to save to, right? But now we have a fake DB, which we can save to. 
And what we do here is just uh, the test you see here is just re re register a new guest, right? It's asynchronous function. We set up first the module. So for every text, test, because it's sandboxed, you have to set up the whole module again. Uh, that's a little bit like uh, uh, there are some ways to get around this, but I think this is the best way to keep everything sandboxed together, right? And what I'm doing here is actually uh, just um, creating a new mocked express request. You're probably working with express and this is the way to do it. Uh, this is a module which uh, it does not have a good documentation. So if anyone wants to contribute, just go there, contribute to the guy that, that create the module. It just uh, mocks a, a express request and res express response. Uh, these here are the names of the modules. I'll have them linked in the description below. Okay, so uh, when you mock a request, you just send the post method and some headers if you need, because my actually my guest module is uh, testing for this user agent header. And I create a guest session and I expect the, re the response to have some kind of cookie. And what I also can do is I can also, I have this connection, right? I can also uh, query out so I can do a guests equals uh, connection dot get repository guest now I can do this right now I will just need to import that repo okay quick fix import guests from module guest right now we can search find find guests which have some kind of perimeter right so we don't actually know what kind of perimeter. That's why I just looked for cookie. But I could uh, here, I could do, uh, what I could do is just take a look at what guest actually uh, says. It says the cookie. So a session ID from the cookie, right? So we can easily, from this function, we can easily just return, return the cookie here, return the session ID, right? And if here we can return uh, guest found guest dot uh, actually what the, what is this cookie? So that cookie probably, right? Yeah. So if there is a guest return the cookie and if there is no guest return the set the new session ID which which now there is sh sh there should supposed to be a guest. So let's just now test if that's true. So find cookie which is equal to now this here let cookie equals this, right? So cookie now is equal to cookie. So now I have a way of testing expect expect guests dot length. Yeah, await. So yeah, uh, await. Actually, I needed to put here await because it's a promise. Guests dot length to be to be greater than uh, zero, right? to be greater than zero. So to have some guests in the database, right? Also, what you have to to now know are there are little things uh, which uh, actually made this difficult to set up, right? Little uh, things which you, you uh, need to know. So first of all, you need to know that you have to compile down the code for first and then use jest. Why is that? Because the entities of the type ORM, you're gonna, you may have this error and you may just freak out, but the entities of uh, the type ORM are actually uh, should, uh, needs, need to be called from the uh, .js files. So what I'm, I'm doing here is I'm uh, here, there's build, right? There's the build directory that is all JS. And here are all of the entities, right? 
So if you go back into the mock connection, you're gonna see that the path we use here is actually relative, which means that I'm searching these entities in the built directory. You see, they end up with JS, not TS. And this is very, very important. Do this because if you don't do this, or if you want to like some kind of, uh, if you have a, a ORM config file, right? You're going to have a lot of issues, a lot of problems. What I'm doing here is just a relative search for the, I'm, I'm just uh, getting the relative path here to the entity and putting it here in the uh, telling type ORM that these are actually registering, it's called registering the entities. You are going to have that error of like uh, entities being not uh, not being registered, right? This is, uh, this is step uh, number one that you need to take. And uh, number two is setting up the just, uh, if I go to package.json, you will see my command for test, for npm run test. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing tsc, I'm calling project tsconfig.test.json. So I'm not, why I'm not, why am I not using the tsconfig.json file? I have them both here, right? I'm using a new file, which extends onto the tsconfig, but it uses, it compiles only the tests. So if you have a big project, big project, right? And if you want just to compile a test, this may save you three to four seconds. Uh, it depends on what uh, kind, like the 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 uh, project, the size of the project, right? But what else I'm doing here, if this is very, very fast for you, I uh, just stop the video or anything like that. Um, but I have just to, to um, get it there, get it out there because I have searched for hours to find these things. So what I'm doing is, see, this is unnecessary, right? If you want, if you don't want. So it compiles first and then it uses, it calls the just uh, command and it uh, says the root directory is built, is not source. You see, source is the directory where I have all of the TypeScript files, right? But the build directory is actually all of the JavaScript files, so the compiled files, right? And I'm using the tech open handles because it, like uh, sometimes like the, the JS doesn't, uh, doesn't exit, right? And this is it, right? So let's try out uh, and let's see how this actually works. So we are expecting this to be uh, here. Uh, so if I go npm run test and we'll wait a little bit. So you see every test now successfully is being passed, which means that the guests length in the database is greater than zero. Um, which means there is, uh, uh, which means there is, uh, right, uh, a, a guest, right? Uh, to be more precise, is actually we need the uh, expect guest dot length to be one, because we only want one guest. We only register one guest. So let's uh, run the tests again. Okay, you see again all passed, all four tests passed, which means that we are correct. We have this module working as we want it to do, uh, right? Uh, this is the way to um, test type ORM and uh, use, uh, use you, like don't, don't adapt any modules, don't mock f functions of type ORM. Type ORM is, uh, is as it is very, very good and uh, just use it to actually to just uh, just use the existing type ORM function and a fake database to uh, test uh, your projects.